Christ of Christ but I you must guess I do alone I have songs where I do alone and I have songs that I do with the band yes <laughs> okay what can I say <laughs> sure all right Let's think about it that was very abrupt Let's see oh, the joy of the Lord is my strength Oh, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Oh, the joy of the Lord, the joy of the Lord, the joy of the Lord is my strength. That's it. <laughs> yes, that's all that I can do for you, but. Any excess is in a machine, I lost America, I lost in London, I lost a lot of children in it. No, the work is just within us, so we have to base on what we have, the resources that we have, to ensure that it will bring income in us. So, on it is okay, you come, Mama, you learn what you're doing. You move where you care about what you're doing. You don't care about what you're doing. About San Boni Mammy Chebo Bakwa, a boss in a get to a copy of your nature on a misericord. You cut a cataker, a killing, a killing a real millionaire of Munica. Well, a killing one, cut a killing one, or get a monkey upon a misericord. Say, Posia Sanya Muni Tolomon, a bad boy, Lingara Kinet, a lot of people, Lingara Kan will be Tolomon. I jump to the baby, Mamma Nabe. Happy Karamoja. Everything has been just good as in perfect because this is something that I expected because when you told me about design this is ki kind of designing the this is kind of designing the earth eh? I thought of it because I was seeing very different okay I grew up in one bad area one bad area that was full of that so when I grew up in that area I felt so bad I felt like I was rejected. Okay, I felt very bad when I was growing up. So I was like, when I grow up, I have to make something different. And I just needed somebody, as in, to help me find something different, as in, learn how to design, learn how to use. Originally, GPH had developed leadership training and, and peace and conflict resolution skills here in a Ugandan context. When I got involved with the organization, I wanted to create a fusion between those skills and permaculture design. And the reason for this is because people here have a lot of land uh, that they don't know what to do with. So first of all, permaculture design to me was a primary thing that I needed to bring over here and that I think has unlimited value. Uh, you really can't put a number on it um, for anybody anywhere in the world, especially developing countries where there is a lot of land access to be had and there's, there's just so much room for, for developing things in the right way. But to take it a step further, we really need to be able to teach people good leadership skills, communication skills, accountability skills. You need to be able to spend time with these young people that have all of this land. And after they've gained their permaculture design certificate, which gives them all these great ideas that are applicable on land, we also have to then train them into how do they actually manage these systems within their cultural contexts. And that's what this course is all about. It's the Sustainable Community Managers course. This is the first time that we're running it. Yeah, I think if all women, okay, you know, they, they always say that women, 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 most of women are like, are always forced by their husbands not to go to work. But if they come here and they learn this, trust me, they will have their own life, they will, they will, they will have their lives ahead of them. This will help mostly women. Women will stand out, will be able to present their own country, like Uganda, and they will, they will force very many people to come in Uganda, very many ladies to come and support Ugandans because of the courage and that they have shown that they have love, they have love on their land, their own land. I think this course would help women in such a way that uh, this we shall see more women as managers, 
we shall see more women getting jobs and we shall stop seeing women sitting home you know to take care of the babies they will have to get more opportunities to you know to get work and also we shall see it will create I know assertiveness in them these women will come out and stand for what is right and what is wrong okay. yeah what I'm going to use in my garden, my, da my father's farm, he has a lot of land, but I've not been, I've been there just a dormant person, but right now I'm going to be, I'm going to be a valuable person to his land. Yeah, stand and talk in people with confidence and courage, you know, and say out what you're trying to say and things to do with a voice. If I am saying no, I shouldn't, you know, look as in shrink a bit, I should be able to stand up and say, yeah, it's a no. My favorite lessons? Uh, communication, management of jobs, uh, and also being an ethical person. Yeah, because I would not love to cut down a tree and do not replace it. That's so bad. I've learned how to be ethical. And they, that their own soils can sustain their own country, not depending on what chemicalized foods they are here. You know, Ugandans have this mentality that food, foods from outside countries are the best. But no, this is some real natural food that you can, you're going to eat and benefit out of it. So I think this, this course really is, would help many Ugandans, many Ugandan women. And all those who are sitting in their homes, they will come, if they get to know about it, if they get to know that this is how beneficial this thing is going to benefit their country, they will come out, they will give in their hand, they will manage their own lands. For Uganda, as yeah, we have got this kind of teaching, we have got this kind of education. I believe that Uganda will be an exemplary country in all the nations, as well as Africa, that a nation that will not be affected by any problem. What is the solution? That's always the question that's on the tip of everybody's tongue. What can we do to help Africa? Why is Africa so messed up? Is there a solution? After eight years of a personal study on the subject, I say, yes, there is. There is a solution, and it's called permaculture design. We need to redesign the way we live. We need to design and develop sustainability back into our cultures. Contemporary agriculture and unsustainable industrial systems are destroying nature and have created an unbalanced financial system, leaving the majority of people to suffer Urbanization and evangelical movements whose sole purpose are money and power have attracted people away from traditional culture, which for ages kept our planet healthy and clean. Value in nature, clean air, water, and healthy food has been replaced by the dollar, fueling the mass destruction of our planet's ecology. People have literally been taught away from their roots and indigenous cultures to fit within foreign ideologies which further diminish their quality of life and take away the real freedoms that come from living in a sustainable culture and having a free mind. Permaculture design is how we can change this and we have all the technology and all the proof we need to solve each and every one of these problems. This sustainable um, manager's course, it's um, really great. Um, wh what we've had before is uh, we have people trained, um, but sustainability in them is not really established. But we are, if uh, with this course, we are um, like trying to um, have sustainable managers, people who can come up with sustainable cycles um, to manage our societies, farms, and um, other areas. I, I find the course as one of the best ever like worked with because I, I'm also getting good experience out of it like um, learning new things as well you know um, knowing that responsibility and passing it on to others is a good thing so this course is really great for um, our Uganda it's really great yep. with regards to this course I would wish to inform all my fellow Ugandans of the same age, or who, all fellow Ugandans who are in my age brackets, to embrace this opportunity of getting training on how they can carry 
permaculture so that we can reserve our environment and make our country a sustainable community such that even the future generations may have to live without facing the dangers that the world we are now facing. For the week that I have completed in this place, sharing, learning, studying all about nature, it has really helped me to know, to exactly prove on myself, on what I have as the source, on what I have as the resource, as part of the land, to ensure that I should now make sure that I focus on the resources that had not been used or that had been misused to put into reuse and to ensure that I should keep all over thing, all over resource, all over living thing, living resource, to ensure that it has to be in control, not to be destroyed. The system of education in Uganda these days is not the system of education 60 years back. Because people, long time ago, were taught practical things. And I can give you a scenario, a student can go to college, and even from primary up to secondary up to university. But this student or this person comes out wrong. And you wonder, questions which will come there is, did you really go to school? So if all these things are, are now in the sense that the education system, to me, the education system is not good. Only that this certificate of sustainable community man managers should be like, this will be as an institution to be put in Uganda. They must put that institution because it involves a lot of practicals and theories. The theory is there. And people will value and it's very ethical. And there are a lot of facts in it. Therefore, to me, I decide as a Ugandan, as I allied earlier, uh, that the school or the institution has to be put there that said so that we shall have a very perfect and very uh, sustainable life system in Uganda. So the cause should not only be to few people, but to the broad Ugandans. Mimi as Bridget, I didn't know anything. He told me that let's go there, we're going to get some fun, we're going to have land, like we're going to learn a lot. You know, you're going to learn how to manage your, your mom's land, because you know, you had some land at home and it was really there lying with land and nothing was taking place. So. After learning everything here, at least I got some confidence to tell my mom that, you know what, mom, at least we should make this place some piece of land here to make it a flower garden, to make it what? And trust me, Erin's ideas gave me something, and I believe they're taking me somewhere. They're going to give me a better future, a better life that will really make my life comfortable. And also the green youth had a lot of land, like we had purchased like 20 acres. By then we didn't know what to use it for. know what to use it for and more especially when we came here Aaron taught us how to utilize that land so we know what to do and we always know what is going to come forward yeah. and even it, it has really expanded my mind to know what to do exactly 
not only basically on my land and even to our nation Uganda. The role of this course or the role of this kind of courses, it will really help to ensure that every living circumstance, or every living resource will be kept in place well and it will be beneficial for the nation as well as even the world. The most important lesson I've learned is being conscious of myself, knowing what I want and what I can do at the right time. Uh, what I want to do with my life, I want to be, of course, a successful lady. I want to be to deal in business stuff, changing people's lives and motivating them. Yeah, the course has been very wonderful in the sense that I've gained very many things. But to be specific, the most is the knowledge. And I have the positive attitude towards it. I value that the cause has actually widened my thinking, not in terms of what I will be doing in terms like farming now, but how can I use the skill in my life and to the community where I live and to the environment. So the, what I gained the most was the knowledge of how to relate my life to the nature. That was the most tangible thing I got from the course, the relationship between me and the environment. And I too, I devote myself that I will never lose it anymore. Uh, what has been my favorite, my favorite lesson uh, in this course is about sustainability or the way how we can sustain nature and make it uh, 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 and make nature live in harmony with human interference. I'm Angopa Charity. I'm, I'm a Mitesu by birth, and uh, I, I mean I come from Toro. Um, I'm, fin I'm done with my education. I have done social work and social administration, Mokono University. How do you think this course can affect the development of Uganda? Well, greatly, because if anyone could get the information around here, I think our country can be somewhere compared to where it is. This, it is very important for the ladies, because the ladies have much time compared to the men, so they have that time to go and because they stay at home, they, because of their culture. So if they use this, I think they can make the world a different environment, actually in our country. It has taught me to see that I avoid things which I have been not doing, that sometimes being where I have been, what, thinking that, ah, there's no what, there's no use of nature, there's no use of what other people are not are useless in my life. But I have discovered that everything in this world, even grass, even animals that are so important to my life. And I have learned also to connect myself to the nature, everything in my life. That's how it has impacted me. And I believe that when I go back, I'm going to start to do my best to see that I change even Uganda. I change the minds of Ugandans so that we can have a sustainable community. That's what I have learned through this course. In fact, I have learned many things. And I believe that when I put in exercise what I have learned, will have a, com a sustainable community. Not only our community, but a sustainable world. Uh, this course can help uh, our country, Uganda, to develop in so many ways. First of all, it will help us to ensure that we carry out food production that has no toxic in it. And uh, another way how it can help Uganda is that it will help us to be the best producer of uh, food products uh, that are not uh, harmful unto human life. And I know, if I tell the public that this is the right thing, they will be able to change. They will conserve the environment. They will love the land. They will love, that, they will love their own nature, because Uganda is a peaceful and a loving nature. And why also, most of the youth are just seated there on their degrees, and yet they have the land that they can use to, make, to generate a lot of income. But then if they get to know about it, if they get to study about it, 
they will develop themselves through that through utilizing their land because we have a lot of resources. resources let them not say that we have studied we have no jobs the government is doing this i can't it go to the them. garden i can't go this no we all know that even those people that are there sitting with their degrees like have some better life they all depend on agriculture we have to mind about our own land this is our own resources this is our own food so ugandans should get to know that soil is the most important thing soil can build the world soil can save the whole nation from starving i hear in Kalam karamoja people are suffering because of not not having food they have poor soils but if if me as bridget if i become a minister if i have if i take that my certificate if i take all the things i've started being the first learner of permaculture at least i know i, know I can do something for the karamajongs to survive for their eater souls to get some better food to get some good life yeah and i think i can do that the person i want to also join this course are those people who are re really willing and have their love for their land, for their surroundings, and for their future to be inspiring to the entire world because we want to change our Uganda into a basket of food and a good climate because as we see now, our environment is wasted, our land is wasted, but if at all you're ready to change our world into a beautiful nature, you can join us. Organic agriculture and forest farming is the most important business in the world. Through it, we can provide all of our needs in a continuous, sustainable manner. Our farms look like jungles. With thousands of products and millions of applications, the opportunity for meaningful, healthy work and a good social, physical and spiritual life in such farms is endless. These farming companies are the solution to joblessness, the solution to food shortages, desertification, water supply, textiles, housing, education, medicine, and the list goes on. As Jeff Lawton of the Permaculture Research Institute put it, all of the world's problems can be solved in a home garden. Our farms are the home garden that will guarantee a truly long-term solution to the long list of issues currently facing not only humanity, but nature as well. Through the creation of these farming communities, we will be providing hands-on, live-work training to thousands, if not millions, of young adults seeking jobs and meaning in life. At the end of a three-year period with such a company, each employee will have saved enough money and gained enough knowledge and skills to then choose their own path in life and live the African dream. Build a house, start a family, open a business. The freedom to live and experience a real, tangible connection to the earth and our communities is the essence of a life well lived. These communities are the solution to Africa's problems. We can repair all of the damaged land and we can turn the deserts back into forests. We can replenish water supplies, rebuild all the soil lost from chemical farming practices, and we can organize our local economies of natural resources and finances to reclaim dignity and health forever. To learn more, get your permaculture design certificate. It will be the best choice you ever made. To invest in this movement, contact us at globalpeacehut.org. Things will only get better when we make the right choice. Choose organic, choose sustainability.